Bad news if you're planning on traveling through France next year. It has been predicted that due to the new entry-exit system, border checks are set to become a lot more arduous. In this video, we talk about how long EES will clog up border checks. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and click that bell, to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below, as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by IAM. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure, or already on one, and would like some assistance. According to a new report, UK passengers waiting at the French border may anticipate their wait to more than double when digital inspections for non-EU travellers are implemented. Because of the entry-exit system, millions of non-EU travellers will have their pictures taken and fingerprints collected and stored on the EU's database. The approach is intended to make border crossings easier, but data must be collected for each non-EU travellers. Though the system will replace the manual stamping of passports, a report by the Cower des Comptes, France's public finance watchdog, estimated the initial registration of travellers into the system will at least double the queuing time. After passing through the kiosks, travellers will need to show their passports to border officials. The report suggests that potential disruption could cause more people to travel across the continent by plane. More than 500 data kiosks and 250 tablets have been ordered by France to process travellers, including passengers in their cars on ferries, in the hope that queues at airports, stations, and ports will be reduced when the EU's entry-exit system begins. Trials have suggested that the new system could add two minutes to each person passing through the border, whether arriving by air or sea. After Brexit, UK travellers entering the Schengen area are classified as non-EU travellers and will need to comply with data and documents collection. The scheme isn't coming into play just yet, and it's already been delayed a couple of times. It's now thought that the EU is waiting until after the Paris Olympics 2024 before launching the scheme. It looks like its eventual implementation is inevitable though, so prepare yourself for some pretty long queues. What are your thoughts on this issue? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, Head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.